Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, SHARD, which is the Scrap Harvest Research and Analysis Tool. Um, this is something we're starting this for. Uh, essentially what it is, it's a way for you, the scrouper, to provide CRD with accurate data um, at scale of what our, how our tech drop rate is. Um, the reason this is important is because uh, DevMan likes changing up how tech works regularly. And last war, War 93, um, DevMan changed it up again. And we don't have, uh, one of our goals is to try and get this information, see what has changed with the drop rate. Um, but to do that, we need to have data. Um, so because of that, uh, we've put together this tool um, to allow people to send us that data without making it a huge pain. Um, so in this video, we're just going to be going over real quick how to uh, get onto it and how to use it. Um, so first and foremost, you're going to want to go to scroop.misfitmade.com uh, and uh, there will be a link in the description, of course. And then you're just going to hit login here on the right. And this is just going to do a Discord login, uh, you know, what you're familiar with. Um, and what that's doing is that's going to log you into Discord and it's going to check with Sigil. So you do need to be verified on Sigil. Um, if you aren't verified on Sigil, uh, there will be a link to Sigil in the Discord or in, in the description. Pardon me. Um, and you just have to go through a little bit of hubbub. Uh, you'll probably have to wait till the beginning of the war to do that. But uh, nothing should be changing by then. So this video will still be accurate, hopefully. Um, once you get in, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is you're going to want to click your username here in the top right. And this will give you a couple things you can add options to. So you can add your clan tags if you're in a, if you're in a, if you're in a regiment. Um, if your Discord name does not match like what people know you as, you can change your display name here. And that will uh, update that there. And then if you are not uh, an English speaker, you can change your locale here. This doesn't translate any text, but it does format numbers. So if you're like European and you like having commas and periods backward, then you can set that there and it will update any numbers accordingly. Um, and you just update your account, it'll update uh, and you're set there. Um, so heading back to the main page, the main thing you're gonna wanna do when you're doing this is just right here, adds group button. It's going to give you this form, and it's really straightforward to go through. Uh, first things first, you pick your region. Uh, in this example, let's say we're we're scrouping in Drowned Vale today. So we hit that. Um, then when you start scrouping, you can just hit the now here, and it'll put a timestamp of when you started scrouping. Um, so then you go off, mine the field, do whatever. Um, and then when you're done, you just hit now on the end time. So we just scrapped an entire field, and... 10 seconds, look at us, we're amazing. Um, obviously the real number is gonna be a little more than that. Uh, then you're gonna wanna put the number of nodes you mined. Um, by default, it puts 250 here. Um, if you come to a fresh field, it's gonna have 250 nodes. Um, so you can just leave it the same there. If you come to the field and it's already partially scrapped, you can look on the map and just see where it's at. Um, if you hover over it on the map, it'll tell you how many nodes are remaining. Um, so just update this accordingly, or if you have to leave early, also update that number accordingly. Just do the math or whatever. Um, and then down here is just the number of whatever, whatever material you got, iron, copper, or aluminium. Um, you can either hit the plus four here to add four, or you can just type in the total. Like, let's say we got, I don't know, 48 iron in this field. Um, you can put that there. Um, if for some weird reason you get multiple types... Uh, it's very important you mark that down. Uh, you can fill out multiples of these as well. So like we somehow we got iron and copper. Like maybe it switched over right while we were mining or something. Who cares? Um, and then last but not least, you have a remark section. Um, you can put any notes here, either notes for yourself. If like you had a particular field this was scrapped at, you can uh, mark that there. Or this is notes that CRD can see as well. So if like something funky happened here, you can put a note here. Um, and that will be made visible as well. Uh, and then simply, I'm just going to put test data. Because this is this is, uh, obviously bogus data. And then you just hit add scroop report. 
and it adds it. If for some reason something was entered incorrectly, your browser should warn you. Um, otherwise, you'll get an alert here that'll be like, hey, you need to unfuck this, basically. So if all you're looking to do is add scrap data, that's all you need to do. That's all you need to know about. You can stop watching the video now. Um, the other feature right now is under the report section. We have a whole one report right now, which is the Scroop Ledger. And on here, you can see all of your, uh, all of the Scroop you've mined, basically all of the data you've entered, you can just see it here in a table. Um, if there is something wrong with your data, unfortunately right now we don't have an edit feature. So if there is something wrong here, let us know which one it is and we can, uh, we can edit it for you. Um, that would be if you just hit the Discord link, it'll send you to a tech support Discord where we can uh, figure that out for you. Um, and yeah, honestly, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. Um, you can either do that in the Discord, you can do it in the comments if you're a weirdo who leaves YouTube comments. Um, you can DM me. You can send me hate mail wrapped around a brick and throw it through my window. Um, whatever uh, punches your ticket. Um, but yeah, anyway, bye.